Okie dokie. Yo, what's going on? So I'm not sure if you saw on my Instagram, I recently posted this case, which is my 208 Halliburton special is what I'm calling it just because I made it out of a Halliburton case for super duper cheap. But I'm kind of getting back into the bigger case. I've been talking with some people and I kind of miss it. I really miss it. And I asked a request for your favorite Eurorack mixer and damn, I got so many messages and so many recommendations and I really, really appreciate it. A lot of mention about the Bifaco Hex Mix as well as the WMD Performance Mixer. I've even been looking at the IntelliGel Mutamix, which seems really cool with the three uh, sends. So yeah, anyway, this is not what this video is about. I just wanted to say thank you. And if you are curious about this or have an opinion because my Instagram is a lot smaller than my YouTube channel and wanted to maybe chime in on maybe your favorite mixer or something for a bigger case, check out the link down below to the modular grid. That's kind of the working progress now. I'm not really sure how the comments work on that site. So maybe you can leave a comment. Hopefully you can, if you can't, whoops. But um, yeah, this, we're not talking about this. I kind of want to just jam uh, with this thing, the uh, my pallet case. I was feeling a little uninspired the other day. You know, just kind of like, meh, I don't know how, I don't know, I just didn't feel like making music. So when I don't feel like making music, I decide to make music in other ways. So what that means is I was using this and the model cycles and it was really fun. So let's kind of just do a live patch and jam type of situation. All right, let me go find my model cycles. I don't know where I put it. Oh, really quick, before I get demolished in the comments, that 208 Halliburton special case I just showed a second ago, is definitely not in its final state. You already see on the modular grid that thing's always changing. It's probably changed by the time you see this video. But um, yeah, there's a lot of sources in there, not that many modulators. So it's all a work in progress. And even with this case too, I went through so many iterations um, on Sunday, just like messing with this. I put the Odessa back in here. I put the Ataraxic back in here. I keep going back to, to the Laquilic because it offers enough variation with the envelope. That's what keeps drawing me back to it, that I can uh, have a flexible voice that doesn't stray too far. I mean, it can definitely get there, but it doesn't take much to get a new sound out of it, if that makes any sense. All right, this setup, MIDI out of here, into here, simple, clock, all audio is going into a little Mackie 802 VLC3 mixer and straight to you. So let's start patching. Of course, want your clock. Then, of course, want your reset. Do I have any short cables? Yeah, these are cool. Reset, reset. And then, so this gets driven all by the steppy. I love this thing. It's so simple. So A is always sending movement to the mimetic digitalis to move it over a step. A lot of times I'll just molt that to also trigger the, um, the Laquelic as well as everything else. Uh, yeah, you know, what? I'll do that now. Why not? It just makes things a little easier because instead of running your mimetic off of a clock, and not the trigger that's triggering your sound. It's always changing pitch. And it does that thing that I hear so much in modular that sometimes bugs, bugs me and sometimes it's cool when a note is triggered, but then the pitch keeps changing after the, the note has been played. And I, I don't know, it just always kind of bugged me, I guess. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna use this to trigger, uh, yeah, why not? Oh, too short. Too short west coast let's see i'll trigger that and then i also need it to trigger the uh the laquelic to begin with as well so by default there's there let's go let's take these cables let's take these nice cables these are really pretty so we'll say audio out into the filter out of the filter into the milkiest of ways let's see oh that's overkill for that I try to be efficient with cables, but it just does not really work out that much. Yeah, that's right. And then uh, we'll go with this black one. Cool. I So I know a lot of people are mentioning noise on the Milky Way in my uh, Milky Way demo. Um, I didn't experience any noise, but 
I have experienced noise, and I have not updated my Milky Way. I notice it only on a couple of the effects, but I like this effect here the most. So technically, I should have sound. I do. Cool. So then pitch for this sound, I always end up just using memetics number one to go into the pitch. Too short, man, too short. Cool, so now if I zero out one, that should technically be C. I hope that didn't change. Okay, let's reset that. <laughs> we can ignore that for now. I've kind of stolen this, uh, this idea from Bitwig. I'm not sure if you've ever used Bitwig. I was trying to use it a while back. And uh, basically what they do is they, your, your starting song is always at 110. So I always start slow and then just kind of work your way up. It kind of helps with your brain thinking, I guess. I don't really know, but uh, let's try it. Okay, so that's moving the memetic. Number one is our pitch. If I hit load and zero shred, it's gonna quantize it within two octaves. Cool, but this is a little. It's too high pitch, I don't like that. I'm gonna regret this. Okay, hopefully that works later on with this. I didn't tune in, so. Uh, all right, here we are. We got a little thing going. The next most important part for me is rhythmically resetting the memetic so that it's not going through all 16 steps. That is just like the longest, melodic, most boring thing. So my brain works when I send D to be its reset. And then I can just go to D and just set. Or I can move that over a little bit. And you can see I was just moving the memetic back to one. Maybe I can put it here. That kind of freaks it out. But that kind of hits on that same thing I was mentioning earlier where the note's been triggered, but then the pitch comes after. But in some cases, it's kind of cool. And what's great here is if I go back to A and add more notes, it still gets rhythmically reset, especially if I put some over here. Again, go back to D, maybe change some resets. If I like this, I'm gonna save that to one, and then I'm gonna shred it again. I want the first one to be really low. So when it went there, I just hit zero. I can also just stop it. Nah, shred it. Very similar to what we had a second ago. Let me save it and actually hear it. So I saved that onto two. Those work, I'll do that. All right, let's see. We'll send the output of this not in loop mode to our filter cutoff. Another thing I've been doing to kind of add some variation. Let me see what happens actually really quick before I mention that. Okay, cool. So what I'll do to add variation is I'll take Oct, which is awesome. I like it so much more than I originally thought, but I'll just take one of it, send it into this, the lapsus, X. So what now? what's happening now is this fader is is attenuating the signal. So I'm gonna send that over to the pitch of B. Hoo -hoo. Actually, hold on, pause. I need to switch this so you can get a better angle of this and not a better angle of me. Sorry, my friend. All right, and we're back. We start this. Cool. All right, so we got Oct. 
slowly moving around pitch of oscillator B, and that's basically just FMing itself against A in a really weird, freaky way. Phase modulation, I think, is what's happening there. So then from here, I mean, it's whatever you want. So I'll take, for example, two, and I'll send that to, I don't like sending it to the damp because that really changes stuff. We'll go to mod. So then I'll select two, shred it. And again, I can just pause this. That's cool. Let's go to next. attenuated by the lapses. Let me do this one instead. So three into lapses channel two, out of that into the fold. If I turn that off, we have to... I'm gonna go ahead and save that to two, shred these two. Let's change some rhythmic modulations up. So I don't like that one happening there. Oh. Dope. This is like, there's no aim to this. I'm just trying to have some fun with this one. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so this kick, EM Sounds, I made a sample pack for this and I included all these kicks, but they're kind of, kind of crazy, some of them. Where's the, Gabby. Jesus. Actually, I like that. I made a little sample pack for of these sounds if you're interested. So now let's try and add a chord. This is where all hell's gonna break loose. And I know, I know, I can set the steppy up to basically receive a run signal. Uh, I just haven't read the manual for it. Give me a sec, give me a sec, my friend. Cool, let's go to synth. Let's kind of find some. Let's start at the bottom. Started from the bottom, and we're still there. That one was kind of promising, huh? That's the one. Winner. So let's put one just at the beginning. And unmute it. Out of tune. 
Can we fix it? Kind of works. We uh, say it does, right? Stick with a single pitch. Ooh, I'm gonna have to leave that in there though. All right, otherwise it's gonna freak some other stuff out. So we'll just take four and we'll just modulate the crap out of this thing. So we'll go into morph. Go to four. Oh, <laughs> yes. 
And again, here. I need to grab this. I want to grab another channel from the Oct. Go into our attenuator. And I'm going to send that to our attack time. And listen to how quickly this repeats. Now it's just destroying that loop. And again, the Oct is like eight LFOs. They're all kind of moving, but they're randomized. That's the off. That was all the off. Whatever we just heard, that we'll probably never hear again, came from the off. Right there. They just end up kind of sinking in this weird, beautiful way. That. What was that? actually the perfect time to talk about today's video sponsor Skillshare over here so in case you're not familiar Skillshare is an online platform that has tons of classes on creativity productivity business whatever you want to learn they probably have a class for it but the ones that mean the most to me are the music classes there's a really good mixing and mastering by young guru but the one that I have easily gotten the most use out of is Mark DeHeide's learning the piano I don't really know how to play the piano, but now I know a bunch more than I originally did. And being able to just take what I hear in my head, apply it to a keyboard and have it up here versus throwing everything at the wall and hoping something sticks has saved me a ton of time. And not only that, I want to do better demos for you and I want to do these synthesizers justice and just play. It just is, is amazing to be able to just sit down in front of a keyboard and play. And there's a bunch of stuff. There's fine arts, illustration, whatever you want to learn. And it's super affordable, less than 10 bucks a month. And since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link down below, will get two months of Skillshare premium for free. All right, let's crank it up. So where are we at? 113. Let's see, we'll get this up. 130. Yeah, we'll do 130, why not? I'm gonna shorten this up a little bit. Yeah, I'm down with that. Let's see what happens if we move B down. Or up. See, this is one thing I really like about the Loquelic. It has this built-in envelope. So I can still use this envelope to do other things. And then I can use this envelope to internally modulate itself. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, zero out the ones pitch. Actually, let's. Yeah, that kind of works. Let's go to our clap. We'll take that and get a bit more. Uh, golf clap in here I'm pretty sure which is made up of how do I check it without destroying it a chord 
So this clap sound comes from a chord, some crazy sound design there. taking is the sound of the Laqualic and in a sense putting it into the free mode without doing that and just by turning up the envelope really long I can use this as just modulation modulating this but then since the trigger is still opening up this envelope I can use that to open up the VCA on the mum 8. In this small case I needed a lot of like simple easy to use multi-functional modules like Modules that could do mul wear multiple hats, but not be crazy menu divey with screens and stuff, because you can see it gets a little hectic up in here. So, so now I can use this. Let me take this out, which is coming from here. Let's send this over to the envelope amount of the fold. That way I can just use this to shape. I say thank you oct regularly, by the way. <laughs> so this is really open. If I open up our decay, and then I can just use this to shape all the envelope stuff that's going on in here. That's kind of tight. And then just bring it down. to be a little harsher. So that envelope time is controlling the entire sound of the LIP. So if I send the oct in its randomness, 
over from there. Oh, that's going to be tight. Let's see if I can just... Higher vibe and bring this chord in. Yeah. Oh, actually. That wasn't too bad. What if I pitch it down an octave? That was total plus killing time. Alright, so that's kind of cool, but I liked it going. Dun, dun, dun.
Share the love, share the knowledge, knowledge is power, peace.